Hey guys, Steve here. Today is Monday, November 30th, 2015. The last day of November. And um, I apologize, I meant to do this video last night when I got home from the York, Pennsylvania show, but I uh, was tired, so I didn't get a chance to. So uh, I want to share with you, um, this particular video is going to be mostly exclusive to all the pieces that I found at the York, Pennsylvania show yesterday. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, the York PA Expo show, they call it the uh, Toy Show Extravaganza, I think. Um, it's probably, well, in, in my area, or at least within driving distance, it's probably one of the biggest toy shows on the East Coast. Um, lots of die casts. Um, yeah, there's toys, but uh, lots of die casts of all sizes, makes, um, every, every, anything and everything. If you, Basically, if you can't find what you're looking for there, you, you're not going to find it. Okay, so particularly a lot of older stuff. Okay, so uh, I have a lot of pieces to share with you. Mostly of most of it is uh, look at here. Most most of it is Hot Wheels. I have some uh, Siku and some other one uh, forty third scale stuff. Uh, so let's get started. Um, got a lot of good deals. I mean, you can't go to a toy show to to a toy show or a diecast show like this expecting to get you know really really good deals but you're gonna get some some good deals um, some stuff um, you may not be able to get good deals on but you nevertheless you can find it hard to find stuff this particular piece is probably the only one I saw at the show this is it's my very first actually my very first rocket oil um, this is the flying let's back this up it's the flying customs rocket oil it's one of as you can see here it's one of three thousand and a very cool piece and uh, these uh like I said, this is my very first one. Um, got a good deal on this one. I paid uh, fifteen dollars for it, which I thought was a pretty good deal. And my understanding is this one particular one was an RLC offering, I believe, um, for one from what my uh, fellow collectors have told me. But uh, very cool piece, nice and heavy. Okay. All right. Uh, the next piece I want to share with you, let's go into the next group here. Um, speed machines. Uh, who doesn't like speed machines? I, I was able to pick up three of these speed machines. And not only that, they were actually a great price. Um, was able to find, get these at uh, $10 a piece. This here is the Ford GTLM. Uh, very cool kind of aqua blue color. Cards are in good shape. Also have a Lambo, a Gallardo, and the Polizzi, Italian Polizzi, um Deco. And they also have the Aston Martin V8 Vantage, um, kind of the racing British green racing color. Also a very cool color. Um, sorry about that. Let me turn my phone off here. Okay. Um, so one of my goals for going to this show was to find a whole bunch of pop culture pieces that I could, that I didn't have. Um, you know, I have um, all my pop culture. I have at least one loose set. Um, but there are some sets, releases that I haven't finished yet. Um, so I'm going to show those to you as well. And I'm going to open them up. So let's go ahead and do that here and get my turntable going. All right, so the first one here is the Three Musketeers. Okay. This is from the Candy Pop Culture, and this is from the latest one, actually. The latest pop uh, uh, candy release. Um, these never hit stores near me. Um, I think a couple people reported that they, show, they, um, they did show up at a, on a very brief limited basis at uh, Safeway but I was never able to get one. Now this one is of course the 55 uh, Chevy panel Three Musketeers Okay. The next one here is the Combat, Med Combat Medic in the Twix Deco Um, the majority of these I got for $5 a piece, which I thought is not too bad. 
considering some of these are actually older. Okay. <clears throat> uh, next piece is probably one of my favorites of this release is the 66 Dodge A100 Starburst. There you go. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, going back a little bit of um, ways, we're talking like back in 2012. Um, I don't have all of the Hershey's cars, um, and there are actually six. Uh, there's actually ten in this particular release. Usually, as you know, those people who collect pop culture. Now, right now, most pop culture are six car releases, but this was actually ten cars. And this, of course, is the 70s van and the Twizzler, Twizzlers Deco. Okay. Um, so those Hershey's. So another older one is that I need to catch up on was uh, some General Mills uh, pieces. This is another 70s van. This is the Wheaties, and this one looks like there was nine cars in this particular release. Okay, and this is from 2012 as well. <clears throat> okay. And then we have the General Mills uh, cereal cars, also part of the. Um, with the, goes along with the Wheaties here. This is the Frankenberry Custom 77 Dodge van. A little bit difference between the 70s van and the Custom 77 van is primary difference is the the Custom 77 Dodge van uh, van has the um, has the moonroof up here at the top, whereas the other ones don't do not. So this is the Frankenberry General Mills. pink okay and one of the other uh, releases uh, pop culture releases that I never uh, this because this is came out this stuff came out way before I started collecting but this is the from the first uh, DC pop culture release and there were see eight really eight vehicles in this release this is, of course is the deco delivery Wonder Woman um, my favorite type of castings here. Okay. Uh, the next one is the bread box with Harley Quinn. And then the last pop culture here, I have the 56 Chevy Nomad with the Joker. Okay. Again, they're a little bit older releases, but I was able to still get these um, for about five bucks a piece. Uh, this one has an open hood, actually. It's got a neat new roof there. And like I said, it's got a opening hood there. Get this stay open. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. Um, and I'm just going to show you this one. I actually got through a trade. Um, guy picked it up. Uh, um, David picked it up for me. Um, it was the last one I needed for the Mario uh, release, the latest Nintendo Mario release. This, of course, is the A Crate Delivery. Go ahead and open that up now. I'll tell you what, uh, 8 Crate is kind of nice, it's pretty nice casting. I really like how they did the last Super, the red Super 8 Crate. Very nice piece. Okay? Alright, what else we got here? Um, I'll show you this piece, piece here before we get into the different brands. This is, um, this is another piece I got from the show. This is, the, uh, of course, the Mercedes uh, Unimog. 
Um, I gotta check if I have this one loose. I think I do. Um, but this is um, actually part of the uh, final run series. So I found this. I got this for three bucks. Not a bad deal, I don't think. Okay. All right. And a couple other pieces here. What do we got here? Uh, I found another Snowflake Porsche 356A Outlaw from Target today. And also at the same Target I found the Snowflake 4GT. And I think I actually have to open this one, I believe. i got to double check. Maybe I'll open it the next time. But very cool. And the Golf, one of my favorite Golf uh, racing deck out there. Okay. Also, a couple days ago, uh, last week, I found finally found the Hot Wheels Road Trip in Mount Fuji Tough Road. This, of course, is the Toyota 2000 GT. Yeah, I'm going to open one of these up. Let's see which one I want to open up here. Yeah, we'll open up the one that I was just, just holding. Okay, there you go. Pretty cool deco on that one. It's got, uh, see, on the top, on the side, it's got Mount, Mount Fuji Drift Knight on the side. And it's got the, the deco on the top there. Okay. Um, okay, we'll do that. Come back in a second. Um, okay. So, turn this off. We'll actually do one more opening here. Uh, this particular piece I got also through a trade. Um, it's one that I need. I have a carded, but I needed a uh, loose one. So this one is a pretty um, damaged card. So this is the Toyota Supra, uh, Super, tre uh, Super Treasure Hunt. So, I'm going to open this one up. There you go. Okay, and that will go in the uh, Super Treasure Hunt uh, display case. Okay. Uh, another piece I got through trade. I'm just going to jump real quick to a green light. Um, this is from John. Uh, the, the Supra was from Frankie, so thanks Frankie. This one's from John. Uh, the 75, this is the green <coughs> green light 75 Dodge Monaco police car from uh, representing Kansas State Police. And this is number 4,120. Um, it's part of the Hot Pursuit series, uh, series 15. Okay. All right, um, almost finished here. Um, today I did finally get after what it was like two weeks. I finally got my RLC fifty five Chevy Bel Air Gasser. It's a great looking car. I love the card art in this. It's a nice car as well, of course. I only was able to get one, unfortunately, so I don't have one to open. I'm not going to open this one. Uh, but if you see really close, I got a good number. Total of these manufactured. Uh, they are limited to 4,000 pieces, and as you can see here, I got number 46. Okay, so this is what the back of the card looks like. It's got the different view, just like all other um, RLC cards. It's got the, the stats of the car. It's got the, the sponsors, of course, on the bottom here. Um, and if you can see, kind of in the background, there's some cool little... Uh, paintings and decos in the back but there it is right there there's the card art and then of course the car itself okay very nice piece all right um, and then finally the pieces I want to share with you are my 143rds I got probably one of my another scale that I carry that I collect um, let me see if I can open up. So, uh, this is uh, this brand is um, IXO Models. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is 143rd. I actually picked this particular piece up for $5. And this is, of course, the Subaru, Subaru Impreza WRC number 8 Monte Carlo 2003. And again, this is 143rd scale. Let me adjust my camera here. 
so. Okay. Lots of detail. Okay. Very cool piece. Okay. So that's one of my 143rds. The next 143rd I have here is um, the next two I have to share with you are Mini Champs. Um, for those who collect 118th scale, Mini Champs is a very popular brand. It's a very expensive brand, um, but a lot of nice quality. Um, so this is my Porsche 911 GT3 RS. It says on the bottom here, 24th uh, Le Mans 2004. Okay. Let me show you. Let's get the picture show there. Very nice piece. Got all the racing tampons in there. Got the antenna. Very highly detailed if you look at the rims even. Rubber tires. I mean, I thought the 118s were very detailed. These these 143s are also really, really very detailed. Um, very Pretty expensive, but luckily this is uh, the, these two pieces that I'm going to share with you are actually older models, so they are actually 50% off. So essentially, I paid about 50 bucks for both of these. So about $25 a piece, which I don't think is too bad considering the quality of these. Okay. All right. Put that on the list. And then the last piece I want to share with you, let's box this up here, is uh, also a Mini Champs, as I was stating. And this one. Um, also, like I said, is an older model. So, uh, the other one I decided to pick out of the deal. So this one here is an Audi TTR. Uh, it says DTM 2001. One of, let's see, the, the Porsche was one of 5,040 pieces. And this Audi is one of only 2,016 pieces. So... Again, lots of detail. That's many champs for you. Okay. Uh, and there's the top. Okay. All right. Well, there you have it. Um, not a lot of stuff from the show, but nevertheless, some. Um, hopefully, you know. Oh, I forgot my Siku. What am I doing? So that's the one forty thirds. Let me do the Siku real quick. I apologize. Um, so it's very surprising. So Siku, for those who don't know, is a German brand, I believe. Um, very hard to find here in the States. Um, so a lot of a Siku that I get, I, you know, I, as I showed you in my previous videos, you know, I get from um, some friends up, some friend collectors up in uh, Canada. Um, but I was able to find these next three pieces Siku at, um, at the show. They were a good deal. They were actually $3 a piece. We have here... Um, uh, this is the Mercedes Unimog. It's got the snow plow. We have um, also a Mercedes. This is a water cannon. And then finally, we have um, the police bus. Um, yeah, and the, the German police colors there. Okay, also Mercedes. Okay. All right. Well, that is it um, that I have to share with you. So, um, like I said, not a lot of pieces. Um, I spent probably in the neighborhood of somewhere like $150 for all this. So I think I got a pretty good deal. Um, it's more about quality than quantity, I guess you could say. Um, but it's definitely a show. If you're within driving distance to York, PA, you definitely want to check the show out. It's every, it's always the first Sunday, excuse me, it's always the Sunday after Thanksgiving weekend. It's only one day, um, nine to five. Nine, excuse me, nine to three. Um, six hours is barely enough to um, get everything done. But check it out. Okay. All right. Until then, uh, happy hunting, and we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Oh, um, hopefully, I'll have a next uh, video up at the end of this coming weekend. We have our club meet, our December club meet, and we'll see what I have to share with you. All right. Talk to you later. Have a good one.